you killing now? We need some better days. Lord, I need you to make a way. They killing now. They killing now. We need some better days. Where will all of this fade away? Don't worry, little homie. I got you. And if you can't lift it, I'll spot you. If you're in prison, I got you. May not be a lot, but I'ma keep suits in your locker. I'm not just talking physically, cause misery is in us mentally. And looking at the chemistry, you'll see simply we become our own enemies. And eventually, it gets way worse, cause we rape, murder, lying, cheat. What kind of men are we? What are we, the cool type? The ones who never lose fights? Hit the booth and bruise mics? Maybe if we seen the truth light, we would do right. You living loose in the time of war. Keep your shoes tight. Dudes might step on your toes. Fuck around and bring death to your door. Abandon you. Leave you left in the cold. I'm telling you, bro. Life is a struggle. Trying to come up with a plan, but we too busy trying to fight in the huddle. See, I'm precise with the struggle. And it's true. They unrightfully judge us. Instead of claiming we the Ike or the cup, and we don't learn to follow Christ, then we might be in trouble. Living in a circle lost. Life in a bubble. Y'all are my brothers, and I mean it with the deepest compassion. And the devil steady seeking distraction, but I defeat him with passes. I run a 75 yard TD while making moves like I'm RG3. Ten toes down. They killing us. They killing us. Some better days, Lord. I need you to make a way. They killing us. They killing us. We need some better days. When will all of this fade away? To all my homies on lock, this gone from the block. I got you. I'd also like to dedicate this song to the cops, the ones who wrongfully plot, kicking in doors, roaming our spots. They don't even knock. This robber for our cash and the homies with rocks get wrongfully shot. These motherfuckers want me to stop, but I'm I keep on spitting and tipping on every beat that I'm gripping. They hypocritically wishing that I would fall, but I didn't. I'm on a mission and I ain't stopping till my goal is complete. I'm giving back what was stole from the streets. At times I wish that I could go to the beach, maybe even throw some troll in the sweet to get away from all these roaches and thieves. This rogue is cheap. The ones who want to see us fall. We work for free and then they feed us hogs. And it's crazy how they treat us like some greedy dogs. I was blind to the shit at first. Now I'm starting to see it all. Trying to be a leader because I hate to see my people fall. And there's a lot of kids out there in that world. They need a shout. Trying to open up my eyes so I can see what Jesus saw. Five duffel bags of bread to the land to feed them all. We got a drink team and it's tall. You never see us fall. And with a sis like Chris Paul, hell, I don't even need the ball. I'm going to pass it to my teammate. Let them shine and blind any motherfucker who ever kicked us while he was dying. What it do, what it do, it's 903 Boxing, I'm your host, Charles J. Say, hey, man, um, Israel versus Palestine. what I say? I'm telling you, bro, life is a struggle, trying to come up with a plan, but we too busy trying to fight in the huddle. Man, that, that, you know... That song I wrote, I wrote that song, I think, over, I wrote that song in prison. That song is like 15 years old, but it's so relevant. Uh, and I'm not bragging, but I'm just saying, you know, sometimes you got to acknowledge your own sauce, you know, and whatever you think you the shit at, acknowledge that sauce. And at times you can reach your full potential. Listen, uh, let's get off me. Uh, this sauce is undeniable, but. Yeah, let's get off of me. <laughs> Israel versus Palestine. Let me tell you something. I love this shit. EA Sports is in the goddamn game. I love it. I love it. Um, the reason why I love it because it just it just bringing reality uh, to the world. Um, yeah. Um, black folks don't know what the fuck going on. <laughs> Listen, uh, this has been some shit they, you know, this been heated up for a while. Even back in the 40s and shit. They had some shit going on between the Israelites and Palestine and shit like that. You see that girl dancing with that flag? And she, re she ready to fight too, though. But listen, um, 
which is another thing that I'm, I'm, um, I like and I respect is that, um, <laughs> when it's war, it's war. Only black people don't know what war is. Um, no, no, no. Not just black people, but Latinos, which I consider Latinos. I think they are black. I just think some have a white mentality. Uh, but Latinos are black in my opinion. And they kind of struggle with this too. They don't, you motherfuckers ain't one. You motherfuckers ain't finna war with no other country. You ain't finna roll war with no Israel, no Palestine, no Iraq, no uh, Saudi Arabia. Blacks and Latinos don't even know what this shit is. Uh, nah, bro. And out of all the countries in South America, uh, Haiti is the only one to beat the white boy. Ain't nobody else beat the white boy but the Haitians. So, you know, the Haitian Revolution. Yeah, they the only ones to defeat the white boy. I want to say it was the French. Yeah, they ran their ass off that island. Ran their ass off. So the Haitians is probably the only group of black folks in America that I respect that I think have ever understood what war is. I don't think no other group of black people in the world understand what war is besides the Haitians. You know, that's why they won't even let them over here in America, uh, in the States. Uh, anyway, that's why it's so hard for the Haitians to get over here. But respect to them for fighting. And a lot of black people don't. That's the only war we ever won. <laughs> anyway, in America. Yeah, that's the only war we ever won. Um, so shout out to the Haitians. Um, anyway, black folks, and, and I'm not going to make this a black and Latino. I'm just going to talk black folk, but I'm just, I just wanted to let it be known. Latinos don't know what war is either. They only, uh, Latinos and blacks only war with each other. That, that's it. Latinos don't. Latinos war with Latinos and blacks war with blacks and black and Latinos war. So neither one of us uh, know shit about war. All you motherfuckers, you motherfuckers know about some dope. You motherfuckers don't know about no bomb. <laughs> you motherfuckers don't know about none of these missiles and shit. You can't. Yeah, most you, most blacks and Latinos can't even fly a goddamn plane uh, to shoot some shit off. And most of you motherfuckers ain't going to die for nothing. You motherfuckers are die for a street. You motherfuckers will die for a fucking street before you will die for your people. I respect this shit. Look at them rave waving that flag. Let me tell you something. Uh, and what I respect the most is that the Israelites and the Palestinians, this shit ain't just going on in them countries. They fighting in America. They fighting wherever we at. When the Jews see any, it, it's on, bro. When the, when the Israelites uh, see a, um, a Palestine, it's on, bro. Uh, mothers are fighting mothers uh, All kind of shit uh, And women are getting the shit knocked out on by men It's out when when it's war uh, You gotta protect your women because another uh, Yeah all that go Your kids will get the shit beat out This is war um, Palestine Has bombed uh, Israel uh, I wanna say They killed a couple hundred people So Palestine is biting back uh, Yeah And they fighting in America so I, I respect the shit out of it. I respect the warrior uh, mentality that both groups have. Uh, but this shit ain't got shit to do with black folks. <laughs> so I'm not going to spend my whole video talking about this. I don't give a fuck what your issue is. I don't give a fuck about freedom of the Israelites. And I don't give a fuck about freedom of the Palestinians. I don't give a fuck if you motherfuckers lose or win. It's just like when two white boys fight. I don't care who wins. But anyway, I ain't forgetting all that. But listen, uh, it's no hate towards nobody. But I'm just saying, I have a struggle over here. I can't worry about... It's just like when Ukraine had that shit going. It was black folks trying to enroll and go <laughs> and get into the Ukraine military. <laughs> yeah, fight with Lomachenko and Usyk and shit. It was black folks volunteering for that shit. And now I see it again. Uh, black folks seem to want to get in this shit. <laughs> Black folks uh, have chose the side of the Palestinians. Um, yeah, we are, I guess we're against the Jews now. Uh, and we riding with Palestine. Yeah, maybe the Israelites is wrong. Maybe they're trying to bully Palestine. But that ain't our goddamn business. Black folks always want to take up for some shit that's far away from us. I'd rather us take up for the Latinos before I take up for the Palestinians. I told you Latinos are our brothers. Uh... Selective outrage Black folks uh, Listen I know so Listen To some of y'all I'm not I'm not saying that Every black person is uh, Saying Yeah Palestine uh, I don't fuck with uh, Israelite And shit like I'm not saying it like You just a dummy Or you just a coon Or whatever But I'm just saying You need to get your focus Off that shit 
uh, if you such a fighter, uh, why you ain't fighting in America? Black people are the only group of people, and let are the only group of people that think it ain't a war. That think it ain't a war. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. I, I talk all this shit about prison and how black and Mexicans go to war over one fight. It, it's always when one black dude beat up one Mexican, they can't take it, and they bring out the blades. And, you know, they try to surprise attack. Mexicans do the same strategy every time. When we whoop one of theirs, we already know it's going to be a riot. And a lot of times it'll happen right then. But for the most part, they'll try a little sneak attack. They'll say shit cool and then try to come back with the blades. Yeah, early in the morning at breakfast or some shit. Anyway, uh, while we fighting in prison and, and warring with each other, bro, the white boy, the warden. The white boy, the boss man. So as much as you motherfuckers warring over a uh, turf and all this shit, bro, it's a way bigger struggle. So like I said, uh, you know that black man in the crowd just yelling, bro. You better get it. I wish one of them Palestinians slapped the dog shit out of him, bro. You can't represent that flag, bro. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> listen, black folks, y'all just black folks always wanna, you know, it's just it's crazy to me. It is so many struggles amongst blacks in America and we worry about some other shit. We worry about a fight that ain't got shit to do with us. And to you well-to-do Negroes that think this gonna spark off a world war and that's what you worried about and you think the white boy ain't gonna be able to protect us? <laughs> listen, bro. Uh, that shit ain't got shit to do. Listen, I'm not worried about a world. I'm not worried about nothing. It ain't nothing uh, in no country that's worse than the white boy over here. It ain't no world war that can be uh, greater than the war we going through in America. There is no greater war than the fight amongst the black Americans in America against the American white boy. There is no bigger fight. There's no greater war. That is the biggest war ever. Listen, I understand if China and America go to war, that's some big shit. Russia, that's some big shit. But when I talk, when you talk, at least them people gonna fight back. At least the Russians ain't, they gonna fight back if America fuck with them. We ain't fighting back. So I'm saying that to say, um, since we understand when other folks uh, do war, we understand war that way, we need to understand it with ourselves, bro. Black people, we are at war. And we've been at war. Uh, we just too busy having fun. And we popping perks and shit. And uh, motherfuckers shooting up milk and shooting up all kinds. We just having too much fun. Uh, we party and shit and jamming a little dirt. It's a lot of shit, bro. We just having too much goddamn fun to understand that there's a war, bro. There's a war. And I'm through joking. I'm gonna get serious. Um, it's a war, bro. Um, it's sad because when I think about our ancestors, bro, that is heartbreaking because them people was never violent. Them slaves was never violent. They never wished harm on the white boy. They never... Yeah, it was a couple of retire, But for the most part, bro, uh, them people wasn't violent. Them people believed in uh, uh, Jesus and they constantly forgave him every time he done something to him. Black folks have always forgave white folks no matter what. We've never declared war on them. We've never declared war. And I know this shit may sound a little too harsh and it sound like I'm being hateful or mean or something. Bro, everybody understand war except for us. But we only stand, understand war when, when it's with each other. You know when you are blood, you're supposed to hate Crips. But to tell black folks they're supposed to hate white folks, it sounds like the most hateful shit in the world. And I'm not saying to hate them. But there's no group of people that has ever received reparations or anything in life. No, no, no oppressed group has ever defeated their oppressor without there being blood spilled. That's what nobody want to talk about. There is all in every in every war in every group that was oppressed in every group of slavery. You had to fight back in order to be free. You have to go to war. That is the only way we will, we will ever get respect. That is the only way we will ever get anything. Because if we don't, our kids will be continuously turned into some weird shit. Uh, this sex traffic, a lot of shit. And you know and. You know, it's so sad with black folks. Uh, white folks, they are our daddy. They are our mom and daddy. We get they, we get our food from them. 90% uh, of teachers in America are white women. So white women raise and teach our baby. We don't raise and teach shit. 
We be in the summertime telling them, man, I can't wait till school starts so you motherfuckers can get back to school. We don't teach our kids nothing. We depend on the system to do everything for us. So we're a very dependent uh, group of people. Oh, uh, bro. It's just like the bully at school, bro. This shit's something. Black folks just don't want to fight. <laughs> I ain't gonna keep explaining to you motherfuckers the necessity of war. I'm not gonna keep explaining. Black folks just don't want to fight nobody but each other. Uh, which leads me to say this. Um, I'm gonna start a series called um, White Folks Today. Uh, <laughs> white folks today are far worse than their ancestors. See, a lot of us, we think white folks back then were so mean. They was. They was hateful. I, you know, I'd give anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'd give anything. You know, just to get them. If, if we could swap out uh, the white folks back then for the white folks today, black folks would be in a better place. If we could have them motherfuckers that wasn't ashamed to say they hate us and call us the N-word out loud and, and, and uh, let us know, motherfucker, I don't want you eating my goddamn food or being in my restaurant. I, I just wish, because white folks today feel the same way. They're just not honest. They play trickery. They use trickery and manipulation, and white folks act like they like us. They smile when we see them in public. Hey, hey, how you doing? And they do all this fake shit, and black folks are confused, and we just don't understand it. Black folks, it is, it is, it's, it's become a point where it's almost impossible for black men in America to, black people in America to understand that white folks are our enemy. Latinos too. It is, it is becoming impossible for us to be completely convinced. That these people want no good of us because black men still marry white women. And now black women are wearing marrying white boys, which is some new shit. Uh yeah, you see that shit way more often now. Uh black man, I ain't finna get on a black woman ain't never wanted no white boy. A black woman ain't never wanted no white boy. <laughs> Big mama never didn't want no goddamn white boy. Anyway, listen. Um white folks today are far worse than their ancestors. Far worse. Sex trafficking, uh, cutting your dicks off, turning into a, a vagina, all that kind of sex change. Them white folks back then didn't know none of that shit. They wouldn't study. They just wanted us to pick cotton, work, and, and do what the fuck they say. And every now and then they make an example. I'd rather that honest white boy. I'd rather have that honest white boy than a white boy that'll smile in my fucking face. The white folks back then, their ancestors didn't smile in our face. You know, I think the the white folks that uh, Malcolm them and, and Frederick Douglass and uh, Marcus Garvey and them dealt with was a better white boy than these white folks today. <laughs> yeah, he was hateful, but not as hateful as these whites. Because we living in a society where white folks may have to save us from ourselves, but these motherfuckers are too hateful. Maybe the white boy back then would have saved us from ourselves. Maybe the white boy back then would have got tired of us killing each other because they can't kill us. So maybe they would have got jealous and just tried to stop us from killing each other. But these uh, whites today, they promote us to do it. Uh, that's how you can become a big rapper by promoting the violence and destruction of your own people. We are the only group of people in the world that are allowed to talk about killing each other. But we can't make one song talking about killing no other group of people. We are the only group of people that our music and it's sad to say most of us mo 90% of black men whether you conscious or whatever we listen to the very rap music that is our destruction we are the only people that have a, a, a genre of music that only talk about killing each other so um I don't I don't know but I, like I said bro these whites today in my opinion are far worse they poisoning our food and shit at least back then <laughs> White folks allowed us to make our own food. At least we had our cows and chickens and shit. And 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 and, and, and you know, even pork was more healthy back then. You know, cause it cause we fed the uh, pig uh, corn and shit. But uh, to the Israelites, I don't give a fuck about you, mother. And you motherfuckers ain't the original Jews. The black man is the original Jew. The black man is the original man. And the white boy is the devil. And that's how I feel. And that's what I think. Uh, you know the white the the white boy. Um, you know, in the in the Bible, the devil was what was like the angel of music. What do they promote the most uh, to destroy our community? Music. Look at how our music changed over the years. Look at how the seventies it became about partying because that was after the civil rights. They it, it was like to convince black people that there's no, there's no more fight. 
There's nothing else to fight for. Let's party. The 70s became party. The 80s became freaking music. So, mute, and now it's violence. Music has always dictated how black people act. That's why most of our women act just like Sexy Red and Sukiyana. Most of them act just like... So, what I'm saying, our music dictates how we act and, and behave and how we think. And the devil was the angel of music. So, this white boy today... Uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, this is a, this a dirty motherfucker. You know, white folks should have got tired of us killing each other uh, thirty years, way back since the Crips and Blood. You motherfuckers should have got tired of the destruction back then. So you dealing with a hell of a demon. Um, uh, into the church. Listen, um, uh, and and Israel, the Jews, Israelite, they supposed to be so holy and all that. Th Listen, uh. One thing black folks need to understand that when you at war, that mean the church, everybody, the preacher supposed to be fight, everybody fight. Uh, nurses, doctors, everybody fight. These motherfuckers ain't trained fighters and shit. These motherfuckers are everyday people, but they willing to fight for their country and fight for their people. So, you know, it ain't so hateful when they do it, but when a black man talk about fighting back, <laughs> oh, he hateful. He hate the white boy. Man, I ain't finna. Uh, it is what it is. Black folks just don't want to fight. We don't see no need for it. Um, we comfortable, bro. Um, we comfortable and uh, we only going to destruct more and more. Like I said, bro, 33% uh, of our kids can't even read on the average uh, level of reading. Uh, they don't read above their uh, uh, reading grade. So our kids are very ignorant, but we trust the schools. Uh, we unhealthy as shit. Uh, black, it's hard for a black man to live past 50 now. Uh, and that's just if he don't get shot. But the health problems, uh, we the most unhealthy people. We become sick as shit. Uh, we got all kind of health problems. Uh, a lot of shit. We the most overweight group of people. Uh, we just eat grease on every goddamn thing. <laughs> I ain't even keep talking about this shit. Listen, black folks, uh, until you motherfuckers realize we all we got, we'll never get farther, bro. We'll never get I don't give a fuck how, how much shiny your goddamn car is than your neighbors, bro. I don't care if your jewelry is shine. I don't give a fuck about that. That shit will never get you respect, bro. So... I continue to uh, speak liberation. I continue to speak freedom. Whether you motherfuckers think we enslaved or not, or you just think it ain't nothing, or it's just a, it just a few racist folks, and that's it. It ain't a system. It ain't systematic. If it wasn't systematic, one out of every three black men wouldn't go to prison. Only one out of four black women will ever get married. Those are the statistics in America. So if it's not a system and it's just a few white folks that keep us down, nah, bro, it's it's a bigger story. So uh, this is 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. With that, I'm out.